What's up, carnivore family? We finished our July challenge, the CQ Carnivore 30 Hard Challenge. We did it. I love seeing all the pictures and videos and all the daily updates. It was amazing. Our community did fantastic. Y'all rocked it. And I'm so proud of Larry. He did not want to get up and do those daily walks. And in part of that, I have to say thank you so much to all of you because of your inspiration, those videos, pictures and updates. He got up every day and we did our walk. So thank you so much. I'm happy to report I lost 11 pounds in the month of July. I'm down to 219 pounds. That is amazing. Thank you all so much. We did it together. We lost so much weight together. We got healthier together and we got moving and we strengthened our brains. I did my reading too, along with keeping on top of the most positive and inspirational comments. I also read the good book keeps me on track. We were strict on our diet, we exercised, and we got mentally stronger. Congratulations everybody, we did it. Before I sign off now, I'd like to revisit Admiral McRaven's most inspirational, amazing commencement speech. The Admiral's speech had a great impact on Larry and I, and I hope it did for you too. Congratulations everybody, we did it. A few years back, I ran across this video. It's Admiral William McRaven. He was a former Navy SEAL and he gave a commencement speech at the University of Texas. And this speech went viral. Very inspirational. Very inspirational. And the clip we're gonna show you is just about completing a simple task every day, mm -hmm. like walking. So check it out. Every morning in SEAL training, my instructors, who at the time were all Vietnam veterans, would show up in my barracks room and the first thing they'd do is inspect my bed. If you did it right, the corners would be square, the covers would be pulled tight, the pillow centered just under the headboard, and the extra blanket folded neatly at the foot of the rack. It was a simple task, mundane at best, but every morning we were required to make our bed to perfection. That seemed a little ridiculous at the time, particularly in light of the fact that we were aspiring to be real warriors, tough, battle-hardened SEALs, but the wisdom of this simple act has been proven to me many times over. If you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride and it will encourage you to do another task and another and another. And by the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that the little things in life matter if you can't do the little things right, you'll never be able to do the big things right. And if by chance you have a miserable day, you will come home to a bed that is made. <laughs> that you made. And a made bed gives you encouragement that tomorrow will be better. No sugar, no carbs, no cheating.